a lot of expectations from the people around me, my family, the fans, the country. I carry the country in my shoulders. And now it's time to deliver. All my mind, all my body, all my heart is fixed at the glory of which will be unfolding during the race. I feel like, you know, it's my time, it's my chance to showcase the potential, to showcase the talent that I have. Now look at the stands, the crowd. It gives me, you know, a lot of happiness that I got opportunity of racing and showing the world what I got. I feel like I can give something more special to them, especially with the win. And if not, if you don't have the best day, then, you know, some other day can still come. When they say on your marks, I feel the pressure is going away from me because before the start line, you always have this kind of pressure. You feel like your stomach is full. But then when they say on your marks, that means that's the beginning of a new different path. A path that is either going to lead you to success or a path that is going to lead you to a learning curve. When the gun fails, now no stress. It's just racing. No more tension. You've done it not for yourself, but you've made your people proud. You've made uh, the fans proud. You've made the sport count. I will tell myself, if not now, it's never. It's, it's, it's a touch of brilliance. It's a, it's a work of success. It's a work of dominance. It's, it's, it's something that's unusual. And when you have it, you're happy. I normally manage my nerves, especially I tell myself, Joshua, you're the best. Because if you don't tell yourself you're the best, you will look into other people and you will fit in their plans. And the best way that you, uh, you can avoid fitting in their plans is telling yourself you're the best that the world got. It's very important that normally for me, I, I develop a mental toughness, a mental positivity, a mental belief and self-belief that this is the chance and this is the opportunity. Like as if this is the last time that I'm gonna race. So I handle it with a lot of care and a lot of diligence. When I was really young, I used to look at uh, the strengths of other athletes. But then when I grew up, I learned to believe in myself, especially after the World Cross Country Championship in Kampala. I learned that I was really so strong and I needed just to believe in myself, you know, and become the best in the world because if you don't believe in yourself, no one will do.